So today I'm going to be talking about five keys that helped not only myself, but many other people be able to increase their vertical jump to be able to get that first dunk or improve their dunking ability and just being overall better at basketball. Make sure you stick around because the last one is definitely the most important. And if you find anything useful, make sure that uh, you like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. Here's a cat for you. So here are my top five keys to increasing your vertical jump. The first one is going to be simply just training like an athlete and not like a bodybuilder or something like that. The way uh, this is gonna look is just gonna be a lot more plyometrics, a lot more uh, agility work, mobility work, a lot more compound Olympic movements rather than isolation movements. You really want to be incorporating your full body as much as you can uh, when training like an athlete because uh, your sport is going to be using your entire body. So uh, like heavy Olympic lifts, heavy compound lifts, plyometrics and running is gonna be what train like an athlete looks like. Number two is going to be really focusing on strength. You're not gonna be able to jump high without having really strong legs. So you wanna do things like five by five squats with really, really heavy weight. Because if you can't push enough force into the ground to propel yourself upward, you're never gonna jump high. So one of the things you really wanna focus on is getting as strong as you possibly can and quads, hamstring, calves, everything in your legs, get as strong as you possibly can. The next thing you definitely want to remember is you don't want to forget using your upper body and training your upper body. I see a lot of uh, vertical jump programs that will just have lower body days and nothing upper body. And I think that's completely wrong because if you look at when you're jumping with out of basketball or just without, or just like in volleyball when you're jumping, you're using your arm swing to propel yourself upward to get more momentum upward. So why would you not want your chest and your shoulders, which is gonna mainly be the muscles that are doing that, to be strong? That makes no sense to me. And even if, say, you're a basketball player, you're still going up with the ball. And that's gonna be shoulders and everything. So you, you don't want to neglect your upper body. And if anyone tells you, or there's a program without upper body, I think that is very incorrect. The next one is kind of simple. Um, just become more flexible and you also want to be doing isometrics if you have any knee pain or anything like that um, for knee pain walking backwards on a treadmill or holding um, a lunge with your knee over your toe is going to really help strengthen that tendon and get rid of knee pain also just become flexible make sure you have good hip range of motion knee range of motion Make sure your ankles are healthy because that's ultimately going to prevent injury and also it's going to allow you to be able to become stronger and jump higher. And lastly, the fifth key, which is the most important key, is actually go out and practice jumping. You're never going to get better at something if you don't practice it. If you wanted to get better at playing the guitar, you wouldn't do other things. You would go play the guitar. If you want to get better at jumping, go out and jump. If you want to get better at dunking, go out and have dunk attempts. Not only is this going to work on your technique, your form, and strength, it's, all, it's just going to help your body adapt to those movements, ultimately making you jump higher and dunk better. So having max intent jumps in your workouts, having 15-20 minute dunk sessions at the beginning or end of your workouts is going to benefit you greatly on being able to jump higher.